Okay, thank you. She sounds really sweet, doesn't she? Okay, um, so um, on the midterm, on Wednesday, it's gonna be like the quiz that you already took. Hopefully everybody already took it and did fine. There's gonna be blocks of maybe 10 or 15 questions that are matching characters. Make sure you can identify who the characters are um, from uh, Frankenstein, like Walton, um, the, the two professors, um, Kremp and Waldman. Hopefully you remember that uh, one of them was kind of mean and the other one was nice. Maybe I'll just tell you that. Um, Kremp was the one that was kind of mean. Waldman was kind of nice. Um, there's a couple questions. I'll give you a little bit of a preview because you're matching characters and descriptions. Um, one of the descriptions says that he and his sister wrote letters to each other. And uh, let's see, is there anybody listening that knows the answer to that? He and his sister wrote letters to each other and it's not Victor. At the beginning, it was Walton, okay? Walton and his was writing letters to his sister and she was writing back. Now there might be another question that says, uh, his sister wrote to him, but he didn't write back. Does anyone know the answer to that? And it wasn't his real sister, it was his adopted sister. Oh, it's, um, it was uh, Franken's. Yeah, it? Victor, Victor Frankenstein. Frank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've got his name for a second. <laughs> yeah, well, when you're looking at it on the screen, it's basically matching, so it'll be there in front of you. You just need to match it. But Max gets uh, applause for that because he had that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, um, yeah, the, the question, if it says uh, that his sister wrote to him, his adopted sister wrote to him, but he didn't write back, then you would hopefully match that with Victor. Um, so there's going to be 10 or 15 questions on the first half of the book, and then probably another 10 or 15 on the second half. There might be a question like uh, the magistrate um, was named Kerwin. Um, things like that. Just make sure you can identify who the characters are. There's a couple of questions on the creature. Um, like there's one that says that he uh, saved a girl from drowning and then he was shot. And hopefully you can match that up with the creature, things like that. So that's part of it. Uh, there's going to be another part that's also matching um, some of the articles from Signs of Life, but it's only going to be the first uh, week or two of assignments. So nothing after page 122. The articles that started on page, I think it was 50, 55 or 54 to 87, there's gonna be a few questions on those articles and then maybe a few more the articles after that, but not after page 122. Um, and um, there's also gonna be probably matching, a lot of, a lot of it's gonna be matching for the objective part. There's gonna be like an objective part, like a you know, matching blocks. Um, uh, there's going to be matching um, the the things that the four emphases of romanticism that I told you about um, that it was uh, reaction against uh, you know tech, uh, industrial revolution in favor of nature and then there's another one that's going to be that it was reacting against um, reacting against the mind in favor of the heart you know things like that. Um, and then there's two others that I told you about reacting against society in favor of the individual. Okay, so there's gonna be matching um, the, the emphases of romanticism. There's probably gonna be a few things, not really hard detailed, but just a little bit about uh, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner and a little bit about um, the, the one that we read in class. The other one was uh, Paradise Lost, okay. Um, like one might say, uh, this was about a, a main character who did something he regretted and was uh, punished. Um, so um, let's see. Um, and then there's probably going to be a couple about matching the article, uh, the more, uh, the one about um, that. Um, consuming passions. Okay, and then there's also gonna be, uh, the written part is gonna ask you to write about the theme of consuming passions in the novel and in uh, Signs of Life. Um, 
the the article the more factor you might look that over um it talks about the consuming passion in american culture american society consuming passion means a passion that consumes you in other words like when somebody becomes addicted to alcohol or to drugs they no longer have freedom the 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 passion for something um, becomes they become a slave to their passion they're consumed by the passion so the idea that you write about is a consuming passion in Frankenstein how Victor was consumed by his passion for what anybody know Victor was consumed by his passion for anybody know knowledge is it um knowledge yeah knowledge and uh bringing life bringing yeah death. yeah knowledge or the idea that he could create life and make things better you know originally a passion is you know something that's not necessarily bad but then when it consumes you when um it takes you over okay so there's a consuming passion that victor you write about you know describe how victor suffered from this consuming passion he was consumed by his passion for knowledge and um you know making things better and then you compare it with the consuming passion theme in signs of life probably the best article for that is the more factor um there's another article in there that you could use which is i think like the introduction to the unit you could use that or you could use the more factor um, you write about how uh, it talks about how american society has a consuming passion for more okay as always uh, kind of addicted to uh, always wanting more and then you describe that a bit compare you know how it is in the novel and it, as it, in the article in the novel it focuses on an individual which is victor and of course in the article the consuming passion is more communal the society and so you you uh, describe that a bit for the written part it's, um i have a question is this uh midterm like kick the whole uh class time or pretty much yeah i mean uh, i'm gonna probably for the uh for the objective part it'll probably be like those little blocks like the quiz that you took it'll be like that, that you'll have 10 minutes for each block maybe two or three of them and then for the written part it'll i'll set it for maybe an hour or um that you can just have an hour um, well i think it could be you know it could go beyond the class time if you want to have a little more time maybe i would make it for up to an hour and a half. Although I think that's probably more time than you need. You could probably do a good job in 35, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. maybe up to an hour. And is there a limit to the red right part? Is there like a specific, like uh, how much do you have to write or? I don't, I, there's like a time limit, but I don't think I'm going to uh, say that there's a limit in how much you write. I mean, you can say whatever, as much as you want to say. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, um, that's pretty much about it uh, as far as what I was going to say for the midterm, unless anybody else has any other questions. Anybody else have any questions? Um, I've never done this before. I hope it, I did it okay. I, I don't know if I had a light here because uh, I figure you need a light to be able to see the person. I don't know if it looks kind of creepy or I, I don't mean it to look creepy. Mm. Okay, um, so uh, anyway, um, I guess that's about it, unless there's any questions. If you think of a question, you can also text me, and I would recommend right now using a text instead of email because I've been collecting a lot of assignments by email, and so I'm a little backlogged. But I think those of you that have texted me questions, I usually text back uh, fairly quickly. All right, and my number's on the syllabus. All right, so you can text me if you if you have any other questions. All right, I guess that's about it. I'm going to stop the recording.